What's good my fellow Natiba Slayers? In today's video, I have a way that you can destroy Raven at any skill level on hard mode difficulty. Let's get straight into it. So a hard mode boss challenge is smacking up a lot of people out there, but I got you covered. Today, I'm gonna show you this build right here. You need the reflex type exospine, the protection type exospine. Both of these need to be the MK2 versions. You're gonna need to get the beta enhancement gear MK2, the beta recovery gear MK2, if you're not too afraid to be using DPS and taking a little bit of damage, you can use the Double Edge Gear MK2 for that extra DPS boost. It's really going to help you out and take her out a lot faster, which shortens the fight. Or if you're struggling a little bit, you can switch this out for something that's more for your playstyle. And finally, you're going to need to use the Protection Gear MK2. With that being said, that's the gear, the drip of your choice. Let's get straight into the fight. So there's a bunch of things that this build is going to do for you. Type Exospine is going to make it a hell of a lot easier to parry and dodge everything Raven is going to throw at you. It gives you a huge window, a little bit of a mistake even. Even if you're slow or not really responsive on certain you know, inputs, you will still have a pretty decent window to recover and or possibly get the parry or dodges you need. The Protection Type MK2 is actually going to just save your life. There's going to be so many different moves that she's going to actually be able to smack you with, but she won't be able to one shot you. And because she can't one shot you, as long as you get a general idea of her parry timing, as well as her dodge timing, then you will guarantee be able to heal through it and make it to the end of the fight. I was able to beat down Raven with this build in less than three minutes, which is a pretty decent time. And it was a lot of fun doing it. Now there's a couple of nuances that you do have to pay attention to. You do generally have to know her different combos when to parry them you do have to understand that when she comes for the blue and yellow blink attack she is going overhead and you have to dodge that you're gonna have to look out for any time that she turns red that you're gonna always have to parry or dodge perfectly and then you're gonna have to learn the differences between the different types of attack patterns that she's gonna come with now, in the second phase, when she's able to do this room-wide AOE, one of two things can happen. Before she really gets that attack off, you can always shoot her out of it. Two, you can keep your distance away from her. Or three, you can actually just use Taki mode for that split second so that the attack goes off, you take no damage, and then you turn Taki mode off right after that to completely negate that entire ability altogether. So right here is an example of, I wanted to see if you're able to survive the attack. I didn't have full health, so I wasn't able to properly check that for you guys. But you're going to see right here in this entire clip that not only did we take her out in less than three minutes, but we were also able to use Taki mode to avoid that attack completely. So let's go over Raven's fight. You can come in aggressive. It's up to you. But you're just going to need to know her general attack patterns and know exactly when to parry. Because of the reflex type exo spine, you're going to be able to have a larger window to parry her. So don't be too afraid to be aggressive. With that being said, when she falls on the ground, you always want to be shooting at her with some type of missile or ammunition so that you're always getting all the DPS that you possibly can from your build. At which point, she's then going to come in for these yellow blue attacks. You always want to dodge those. You cannot parry them. When she comes in with this blink, you have to blink it. Sometimes you have to blink twice. If you stun her, then make sure you punish afterwards. And generally, because we have the beta recovery, if we take a little bit of damage, we're still able to punish her right behind that. So it's not too much of a bad idea to, you know, take a couple of hits. You cannot take too many hits. If you get hit with three or four hits consecutively, it's probably going to be game over. So always try to at least keep your guard up. With that being said, stay aggressive stay on top of her as long as she is keeping her distance from you then it's a lot easier to figure out what she's going to do next if she is too close then it's going to be very hard to judge what she's going to come with so just make sure that you keep your distance if you need to especially in the second phase now that we hit phase two let's talk about it she has this overhead attack right here that's going to come with five attacks make sure you block all of them and then you're always going to get a good punish window in there. So make sure you slam in your attacks after 
you've dodged or parried her attacks. At which point, if you keep your distance from her, she's always going to do this gets potential ability at you. And it's smarter to keep your distance. When she comes in with the blue yellow, you always have to dodge that. You can't do anything else. And right here, boom, I click into Taki mode. I completely avoid it. I get hit with the next ability because I wasn't paying attention to that, but still was able to recover, use a heal and parry her next ability. And that's the fight. She's pretty much done now. At this point, it's just going to be patience, keeping your distance and fighting aggressively only when you need to. Because we have the beta type recovery and we have the beta enhancement, we are going to be able to get some beta over time as we get in combos. So make sure you're always getting in there for combos. If she goes in for specific attacks like that backflip attack right there, you can still survive it. If she comes in with her maniacal laugh attack, you can survive that as well. But make sure you're always trying to keep your guard up and you try to get a couple of parries in there to resist some of that damage. Don't forget to use your grenades like I did just there so that you can always get in the extra hit while she's laying down. And that's the fight. This should be one of the easiest builds out there to actually smack up Raven with because of the large window that you have for parry and dodge, as well as the decent DPS that you're able to put out. If you like what we do here on the channel, make sure you smash that like button. Sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and a hell of a lot more for Stellar Blade coming to you real soon. This is your boy Emma M since HD. I'm going to let the whole fight play out from start to finish so you can watch it. But I'll see you in the next one. For now, I'm out of here. This is my battle.